The terrorist group ISIS has released another graphic video purporting to show the beheading of a British aid worker taken hostage in Syria. The short video, which we're not showing due to its graphic content, shows 44-year-old David Haynes in an orange jumpsuit kneeling beside a black-clad militant. The militant is shown executing Haynes, then threatening the life of another British hostage. The executioner, speaking in a British accent, claims Haynes was killed in retaliation for UK Prime Minister David Cameron's support of the Kurdish Peshmerga's campaign against the terrorist group. The second hostage is reportedly also a captured aid worker. A dedicated humanitarian worker and father of two, Haynes has previously worked for aid agencies in Libya and South Sudan. He was abducted in Syria back in March of 2013 while working for the nonprofit group ACTED. Haynes' life was threatened by ISIS in their previous execution video of journalist Steven Sotloff, who was beheaded in a similar manner after falling to the hands of the group. The execution video was released one day after Haynes' family issued a public plea to ISIS urging the militants to contact the family, presumably to negotiate his release. It's the third such execution video ISIS has released targeting Western media, but the first video to show the death of a British national. A CNN analyst predicts the execution could inspire the UK to take a larger role in the international campaign to destroy ISIS. I think this will galvanize the British population. Uh, this, this is pushing the British over the fence. And, and I cannot believe that ISIS didn't factor that in. UK Prime Minister David Cameron responded to the video on Twitter Saturday, calling the execution an act of pure evil and vowing to bring the murderers to justice. For Newsy, I'm Christian Bryant.